Merrick Garland's DOJ actually coming after now <laughs> Trump administration yeah, officials John, for their failure to it, comport it, with this political committee. If you're a Republican, you can't even lie to Congress or lie to an FBI agent, or they're coming after you, they're going to bury you. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And as a Republican, you can't even lie to Congress or the FBI. Remember when Louis the Scumbucket Gomert sobbed and lamented this on an idiotic right-wing talk show? Lying has become so important to this political party that I guess he thinks it's his birthright, and it's for all Republicans. Stop the investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice and Ukraine into the corruption of Ukraine interference into the U.S. Uh, election in 2016. The right to lie to Congress and the FBI is evidently written in the Constitution in some secret ink that only scumbucket Louis Gohmert can read. He's made such a habit of it in his career that he feels that it's par for the course. And that's the important fact to take away here. Louis the scumbucket Gohmert is not alone in his twisted worldview. The entire Republican Party has drifted so far into corruption that it has become their operational norm. Who has power in the Republican Party in Washington and how they hold on to it and how there seems to be nothing they can do to lose it. Power holds a certain magnetism to a certain kind of person. Power hungry people with authoritarian personalities are disproportionately drawn to power. So then you can either dial that effect up or dial it down depending on how you set up a system. And what the Republican Party has done in the post-Trump years is it's dialed up that tendency. It's said to people, if you're like this, we want you we will promote you. So it attracts and promotes the kinds of people like Paul Gosar, who are extremists, who embrace violence. And it doesn't just attract and promote them, it then lets them get away with it. Being condemned for lying to the FBI to them is a liberal media vendetta, because any and everything that makes common sense must be liberal media vendetta, because common sense opposes Republican politics. And to exist, they must con their base into supporting them, so lies and facts must simply swap places. And the sad thing is, it works. The base falls hook, line, and sinker for any talking point that politicians throw their way. And thus we have 99% of Republicans believing the big lie. Trump and his treason caucus of criminals like Gomert have found their saving grace. Because what is it for them is a ticket to corruption. You don't even need clever lies to be an evil politician anymore. Hollow lies and stupidity will actually take you much further, faster. These snakes can freely abuse the power of their offices, betray the public trust, maneuver for their own personal gain, and evade every crime they choose, all by bending knee before the fascist political regime. For them, corruption has been liberated. Political office is a free pass to commit white-collar crimes, expand your business portfolio, eliminate your taxes, defeat your competition, ensure your monopoly, and further repress the ability of your supporters to see through your evil soul. They get into office and start cutting education so the stupidity that secures their position perpetuates. They start dog whistling to the hatred that blinds their supporters to their own crimes and then sit back and reap the rewards of corruption. Lobbyists and corporate donors are on speed dial. Bribes and extortions are the flavor of every day. Transparency and oversight are their enemies. The right has long used the sham excuse of privacy as a shield to protect their own corruption. If they truly cared about privacy and personal liberty, then why take the stance as they do on the right to choose? voting rights, or a myriad of issues that actually affect an everyday person's privacy and freedom. The type of privacy they want is the privacy to hide all of their shady business deals. Closed door deals with lobbyists, private one-on-one -on -one calls with Vladimir Putin, White House records flushed down the toilet, pleading the fifth, all are sacred Americans' right to privacy. And these cons are never going to stop because the gig is simply too good. Taxpayer money to sit back and criminally grow your own assets? For Republicans, politics is professional corruption. And until their base rejects people like Louis the Scumbucket Gomert and his pleads to lie with the FBI, the disease of corruption is going to continue spreading. And that's an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.